<laughs> yes, because we whistle past the graveyard because we're scared of it. And when we're children, it's great to learn how to whistle past the graveyard. But, you know, I know one of uh, the Tibetan practices is to go into the graveyard, you know, mm -hmm. to meditate on the grave, mm -hmm. in the grave, to get in it and meditate in it. It's like, why would you do that? Why not meditate in the beautiful cathedral? Mm -hmm. Well, you do both, of course. Mm -hmm. You recognize both, and then what's deeper than either. So the whistling has its place. It's very useful. And then you recognize through maturity, through grace, through willingness, you recognize I'm whistling past the graveyard and I just can't whistle anymore. Mm -hmm. I've got to mm -hmm. see what is it like if I don't whistle. Mm -hmm. And it can be terrifying. Mm -hmm. And in the willingness to not pick up the whistle in that moment, but to actually meet the terror, there is naturally into the abyss. And we fear the abyss because the abyss is death. Only death like lost in death. Not death is nothing, but death is lost in space, alone. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> because you have support for that step. Mm -hmm. You have pushes for that step and pulls. Really, that step is what all teachers and teaching and awakening is about, that step. And even what all the ledges have been about leading up to that or down to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's somehow building some kind of fortitude and one-pointedness and presence and courage or understanding whatever it is to that moment where there's nothing, mm -hmm. nothing left. And that is in fact meeting death. And that is in fact meeting life. Because life and death aren't positive and negative. Quite astoundingly, they are the same. <laughs> In our minds, we make them polarities. Birth and death are polarities, but not life and death. Mm. This is very good news. Mm. And still, in this good news, I'm sorry that our body has suffered. If there is suffering, God forbid there should ever be any suffering for anyone in this room, but if there is, <laughs> which there will be, <laughs> of one form or another, there's an opportunity to discover what's deeper and closer than positive or negative. And you have discovered this opportunity and you have shared it with us. <laughs> so to discover it is extraordinary and to share it, this mm -hmm. is compassion. Mm -hmm. what, what beauty that we come together. Absolutely alone and together. They aren't polarities. <laughs> they appear to be polarities. Mm. But in what is closer and deeper in meeting one and then the other and discovering what is deeper. This is what's whole. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so simply said, I remember when uh, my teacher asked me to speak this, and I kept saying, but silence can't be spoken. And he said, nevertheless, you have to speak it. <laughs> I didn't know what he meant. He said, you just keep speaking till it's spoken. And I realized it's, it's for you to speak for me to speak until you speak, and then you are speaking silent awareness.
because silent awareness is not in opposition to speaking. It's not excluded when there is speaking. It includes everything. 